This is Billy from Perma Pastures Farm. Today we're going to do something that's um, it's really not that uncommon. You might have heard of alley cropping. Well, this ain't it. This is alley cropping would be where you have a row of trees and another row of trees, and in between, that's where you're going to plant, let's say, your annuals. Well, in between this orchard that we have started along the road, we're going to put little mini gardens in there, almost a quasi centropic type thing that we're going to have going. Now we have all that compost, that finished compost, that 18 day compost that we showed you a while back. Well, we need a spot for it. And um, like I said, there's no shortage of things we can do. Now we have a couple of problems and they're good, wonderful problems to have, especially in today's state of affairs. First problem being we got too much compost, right? Second problem being we have a bunch of flats filled with all kinds of food that we don't have room for in those vegetable boxes by the house. Now that won't be a problem in the future when we're able to put out a retaining wall, expand all that, but we're, we're not there yet. So we have all this stuff that was up there in the greenhouse and we're going to find a home for it right here. Um, we're going to use a method and it's, um, it's not exactly the same method, but it's close to it. And it's, it was inspired by Jeff Lawton and it's the uh, instant garden method where you take the things that are over here, let's say in this flat. Well, we'll get to that. We'll show you exactly how that's done, but it's done simply. And I can't think of a better time where something like this, a method like this couldn't benefit people because you can get started without a plow, without anything else, without digging anything without a tiller, without anything, just a little bit of compost, some cardboard, a little bit of manure if you have it, but that's fine too. So let's talk about how everything is situated here. Now, alongside this road right here, all the way, in fact, when we make changes in the future, all alongside this road right now, you see, as we presented in previous videos, we have our trio, our nitrogen fixer, and then two productive fruit trees and then a nitrogen fixer, so on and so forth down there. You can see the mulch rings right now. And those guys are off and running. And I'll be doggone if this little chick didn't just fly over the fence. Okay, so where we are strategically, this is why in permaculture we try as best we can to put everything in zones because right here are the meat birds, right? Remember what we're doing with them. We are doing the, the um, chicken tractor on steroids with meat birds. And if you follow me up here and take a look at what they did. Now that compost pile was every bit four feet high this morning. And look at what they do. They go in there. They, they've, they've eaten their rations for the day. And they're like, man, I'm still hungry. What are we going to do? Well, we got to go to work. We got to go over here and we got to get through that pile. We're going to scratch it out. That's the pile they're most interested in right now. When I flip this second, this uh, second week pile, watch, they're going to be very interested in that. But the cool thing is... This is why everything is in zones and preferably we would want our vegetable garden much closer to the house. Right now that doesn't make sense, but we come here every single day to deal with these birds, but they are strategically located here. And why? So we can take that finished compost, walk 10 steps across this driveway and put it exactly where it's going to be needed around the trees and in our garden that we're about to start today that we're going to get the beginnings of today. Now with that said, we're going to let these guys keep working on this. This compost would be ready to rock and roll by the end of this week, by Sunday or Monday. We're going to give it a while longer probably, but we're going to get started over here and we're going to show you step by step how you make this our version of Jeff Lawton's Instant Garden. We've done it before and it's, it's worked beautifully in the past, so it's time for us to give it a shot in North Carolina. It's worked in Texas, but here we go. Okay, so this thing by my estimate is about a six by six garden. That's really what it is. Now, 
could it be enhanced? If you you could actually, I, I want to point a couple of things out before I get down to brass tacks here. Okay, so this is about a six by six. Now, ideally, you want to wet the surface before you even start and wet your cardboard. Now, it has been raining all day long here. In fact, that's why it's, this video is taking a while to do because we've been back and forth depending on how much the raindrops were falling on us. So you can do that, but there's others that start out with, let's say, cow manure. You put that down first or spray your water, put cow manure down, then you can put the cardboard. Guess what? We've done it. We've done it both ways. And frankly, I didn't see a, a bigger difference in one way or the other. So here it is. Just get the ground wet. Put your cardboard, your wet cardboard on. You can even go thicker than we did. Um, put your compost, your soil on it. Put your straw or whatever you're using for mulch on. Make a little pocket. Stab the cardboard. Fill it up with compost. Put your start in there. And then, bam, here you go. So this was done um, based on the time it took to film it, and which is considerably longer than it would have. The planting part of this took 2 minutes and 45 seconds. Everything else took maybe another five minutes. So here you are, a garden, a six by six garden in, in just a matter of minutes, in under 10 minutes. I mean, that's pretty hard to beat. You could even go so far as even broad fork this thing underneath here if you wanted to go through all that. But from our experience, we've, we've not had to do any of that. And here's the beautiful part. You're building soil. Just like Jeff Lawton teaches in his uh, video, the way he does it, I mean, good permaculture should be building soil you should never be losing soil in a good permaculture system so this is a superb elegant easy system we've got one down chloe chloe quit eating that dog on folks okay a little side note here's what this dog here's what we got to battle with this dog is over here get out of there she just ran off with a radish so anyway we got radishes that's just a regular radish. We got daikon radishes and everything else in here. But anyway, here's Chloe the dog, William's dog, running off with, you know, something that was growing around that tree over there. But it's all good because we have plenty. Remember, not only care for the environment, it's care for people. And, you know, she's part of the, uh, as far as Michelle's concerned, that's part of the people care. But anyway, we've gotten this one done. Now we're going to move on to the next one. And this is just a way that we're using to not only show the people out there, we met a really wonderful young lady the other day who's starting out a garden and was, you know, wondering, hey, where do I start from here? Or the things I've done haven't worked out so well. So this may speak to her and a number of others out there who may be very well working in a very small area. Um, maybe you, you're older and you, you know, you're like me and you're like, man, I don't want to be in my 80s out here on, you know, trying to dig in the soil and do all the plow everything up. You don't want to do that if you don't have to. So here's a way to build soil, build a garden, and get yourself off and running with it just a matter of minutes. So we're going to move on to the next one, then we'll finish it. All right, well, it took um, really not that much time at all. I mean, this is the next day, 
We did that one down there that was about a six by six, took no time at all. This area here, this is a four by 20. And still it took almost no time at all. So we got a little bit of everything in here. Finished up with a little bit of sweet potatoes. Got some kale down at the end. We got right through here, we got pumpkin, squash, watermelon, you name it. It's all sitting right here and it took almost no time to do. So um, as far as this stuff here on top, the mulch, We'll get more of it in time, but um, we got a lot of this right out of this is, if you go back and watch videos and videos back, this is really the spent bedding that we used earlier for the pigs and the chickens and the sheep. So it's just not been composted, but you know, over time, that's what it, exactly what it'll become. It'll become soil in time. So the beautiful part of this is whenever we do need more compost, right across this road, <laughs> this driveway, is the chicken tractor on steroids and i'm almost perfectly in line with the first compost pile that's going to be ready to rock and roll so folks there you there you have it i mean work beautifully within the zones with your animals work make it all work together work for you and so there's really nothing to it so until next time sorry folks i'm being harassed by a bunch of bees they're pretty busy today so until next time this is billy the permaculture pimp daddy from Permapastures Farm, we'll see you.